Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And today I decided to share with you uh, some of my homemade recipes for an airbrush cleaner and an acrylic airbrush thinner. And um, a lot of guys just show one or the other. I figured I'd do both in one video. I've taken some old recipes that have been famous for over the years and uh, I've changed them up a bit. And uh, what I've come up with here is what I've been using uh, quite a bit. And it, it, it serves me pretty good. So I figured I'd share it with you guys and um, want you guys to give this a try. What we're going to do is we're going to do with the cleaner first. Um, the cleaners, I use these squeeze bottles. I got this from my local tattoo shop. There's a uh, tattoo and a medical equipment shop. It's a two-in-one place. But they have these there. They're pretty cheap. Because um, I'll show you why. Because when I bring this over to my uh, cleaning jar... You know, I like to, this is all I have to do to clean it. I don't have to take any lids off. I don't have to dip any uh, any dropper and, and do all that stuff. It's already right here. You just squeeze it in and blast it out. Squeeze it and blast it out. And the other thing I like to do is I have one of these. Let me show you the one I use. It's this one. I got this, I think, at Walmart. It's in the, I think it's in the, actually, the hair goods department. Because I like, sometimes when, it, when you spray it also... It hits the sides really well. If you turn this spray up wide and you go blast it in there, it takes all off the cup right away. Then I dumped it out and then I can go ahead and do the rest. So I use it either way and I got that idea. Sorry guys, I'm running from the camera. I got that idea here from the media airbrush cleaner. I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby and that's where I got the idea to uh, use the spray idea. And, and I did like this. I'm waiting for this to run out and then I'll put my own in this also. But, uh, I just got this where I got these. Because I wanted to show you guys uh, um, that you can get all this stuff in one store. And that's what I did. I picked it all up at the same time. And, um, and so, for that, we'll start off with the cleaner. All right? And we will use this bigger jar. Um, I'm just going to give you the measurement, the uh, yeah, the measurements as I know them here that fits in this. I'm not quite sure how big this is. But um, you can put it in a Tupperware container. And then you can pour it into your other ones. Because, see, they even make this smaller one. And uh, sometimes uh, you can keep it in a bigger container and then just add it to this more handheld one. But I, you guys see how much painting and testing I do. I, I, use, I go with the bigger jar. But uh, you're going to need a funnel. And you're going to need a nice uh, measuring cup with a pourer. Let's get the airbrush out of the way. And so it's pretty basic. We're going to go with distilled water. 99 cents, I think, at Walmart. Distilled water has no contaminants in it at all. It's a pure water. This is what you want. You don't want to use uh, your tap water. And at 99 cents, it doesn't matter too much anyway at that point. And I'm going to go with three-quarter cup, which is six ounces. Six ounces. Three-quarter cup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this recipe. You don't have to be exact either. I'll put the exact measurements in the description below. So we're going to start with three-quarter cup distilled water. All right, get this out of the way. Next up, we're going to go with, now here's your cleaner part. You can guys can use whatever you guys want. That's why I brought all these out. You can use glass cleaner, ammonia free. Some guys use it with ammonia. It's gonna be thinned out. I don't think it really matters. I happen to have the ammonia free one in the house. And this simple green, which I do love. Um, this is, uh, I've actually put this in a sonic cleaner, ultra sonic cleaner, and clean my airbrush and it works beautifully. Um, this is pure. This is uh, non-toxic. It's biodegradable. It will not deteriorate your your fittings at all. Most of my airbrushes have a solvent resistant fittings anyway. Once you reach this price point of like 75, 80 and above 100 bucks, you're probably getting solvent resistant uh, fittings anyway. But I like this stuff a lot. And, but like I said, if you can't get Simple Green, which I got at Walmart where I got this other stuff, this is also a great value Walmart product. They're right next to each other, and they're both actually really cheap. I, I think they were both under 2 bucks, you know. But this is going to come in a spray nozzle. So you're just going to take it off as if you were taking the cap off. Let me get that out of the way. Now, same amount for this, 3 quarter cup. I'll put this over here so you can see it. I was running low on this anyway, and that's where I got the idea to just show you guys the recipe um, here on the channel. All right, there you go. Three-quarter cup of both. Try to get my arm out of the way. I 
I happen to have that green sprayer, and I couldn't tell what I was using in it. It was the uh, Windex, which is bluish, or the simple green, but it was the simple green. All right, there you go. Now, for the last of the liquids here, I'm going to go with isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I go at 91%. If you go even higher, I would. This has a, a dropper cap, but it works terrible, so we're just going to go with this. All right, we're going to go half a cup here, which is four ounces. The other two are six ounces. That's good. It's got a little drip there. Let's get that off the bench. Dries up fast anyway. It's alcohol. All right, guys, so I can do this for you. All right, this is going to bring it right to the top. There you are, we're right up to the top. And that's it for the liquids, so to speak. All right, get your funnel out of here. It's a nice funnel. This is a silicone funnel I just grabbed the other day. All right, now we're pretty much full up to the top. And the last piece we're going to put to the puzzle is glycerin. This will add a slight lubrication to all, all uh, the needle and uh, all your workings inside. And um, this came recommended to me years and years ago, and I still use it. And a lot of the guys I talk to, the pros, still use drops of this. This also comes from Walmart. Um, can't remember the price, but I think it was under 5 bucks. And this dropper does work, but with this, we're just going to put in 10 drops. Got some long drops here, but this isn't really harmful at all. It's, it's, it would take quite a bit for this to gum up the work so to speak because it just dissolves into here anyway and that is all and that's it now you now this is always open when you squeeze it you got to be careful so if you're going to shake it make sure your, your fingers are over the end i'll do it off camera here all right let me get a paper towel and that's it that is the cleaner. All these uh, foam bubbles will disappear. And like I said, all you do is, let me see if I can show you here. There you go, see it? I'm just gonna blast that into your cup. You know, and I keep a uh, paper towel under it sometimes because it drips on my shelf until it's fully dry. There it goes, see it? But I think they have a cap for this too. Anyway, this is, this is your cleaner. It's perfect, it'll do you guys well. I clean quick up between uh, colors and this works good for me every single time. And uh, like I said, you can either use the simple green or glass cleaner. Some guys use ammonia, some guys don't. I think it's 50-50. I happen to have ammonia here because uh, it's not as stronger than acetone, which I also use to clean my airbrush for the lacquers, you know. But this is our uh, this is our acrylic formula, so to speak. All right. So that is the cleaner. Let's push this out of the way. You can also do that in a smaller amount. I'm not sure of the measurements. Um, I went by ounces, so I guess you can adjust it on your own. Or you can mix it up in Tupperware, like I said, and then add it to uh, your jar, whatever size you use. But that is my formula for that. Now, you can't confuse it with thinner because I keep my cleaners in these bottles. You could put a C if you want on the on the jar for cleaner. You know, I'm trying to do this while I'm on camera. Cleaner. That's all you need to do. And on this, you can put uh, T for thinner. So I got these for my thinner. I'm using a much less quantity. Whereas this stuff, I'm just squeezing like three shots at a time into the bowl to clean it. This is what we're going to use for our thinner. So let's go on to the acrylic thinner. Take the cap off of this. This is an 8-ounce squeeze jar with a pull lid. Got these at the same place. I think they sell these at your uh, even your barbershop type supply places. They have those too. So we're going to go back to our funnel. Let's get our measurements here. Well, my spots now are all wet over here. All right, now for this, we're going to go with, hold on guys, the distilled water that I told you about. Half a cup. Now this is your thinner. Half a cup. All right, there we go. All right, there's your distilled water. All right, alcohol, 
Same one we used before. Quarter cup. Got it. Back on. All right. Quarter cup. Trying my arm out of the way here, guys. There's your alcohol. I'm going to get the cup out of here because now we're going to shift over to an eyedropper. And we're going to go with paint retarder. I use this a lot. This is the acrylic version because we're doing an acrylic of Tamiya. But I also have retarder, uh, water-based retarder from Vallejo. I also have a retarder from AK, acrylic retarder. So I have three kinds. I even think I got more here, but I just grabbed those quick. But here's how we're going to go. We're going to do 10 milliliters. And my, my droppers are marked off in milliliters. There's 10 right there. So it goes all the way up. So... And of course, it doesn't have to be exact. There we go, right there. I got it exact myself. Look at that. There's your retarder. All right. Make sure you cap this back up. And flow improver. Um, you can use, uh, let me see if I got my uh, Vallejo one here. I do. Got a few others over here too. You can use the Vallejo um, if you can find it. You can probably buy a small jar, which would be good. It will save you guys some money. Um, I happen to be testing this one, and I do like it. This was this wasn't cheap. This was like fifteen bucks, but uh, there's a lot here. This is going to last me a long time. You know, it even says ten drops of paint into the air flush to one to two drops. So I know the ratio here. I'm going to do the same as we did with the retarder. We're going to go with ten drops, and you can even put more if you want. I mean, there's 10 drops there, but uh, look, I can load this up if I wanted. It doesn't matter. I've, I've tested it several ways, and I found it all to be the same. So I figured 10 drops will save us the money, you know. I mean, that, 10, that, that big squirt I just put in there, and I'm still at the very top of this bottle. And uh, that is it. That's all you need. All right? Make sure the cap is down. And there you go. And there is your acrylic thinner. Now, as I did with the other one, you know... I could tell it isn't because it's not colored, but you just put a nice T on it for thinner. You know, or you can make a nice label like I did for my uh, my little paint bottles for Ravel and whatnot. You saw that video. And that's it. There's my thinner. And uh, it works great. I tested it with uh, uh, Tamiya, a bunch of my acrylics. Uh, here. Here's one I just tested it with. This is that Pro Acryl. I got them all in, guys. I got them in. The test is coming up after this. And... Uh, it just, it sprayed beautiful. It dried nice. Look at that. Look, and check this out. I also tested it with this uh, uh, Grumbacher. These are the tube paints, you know, for artists at the art stores, you know, really thick. And I stirred that with some of this, and look at that. I airbrushed that, and look at that. And it's durable, too. This might be the most durable thing I've ever painted. So that was that. So that'll show you where we stand already. These are two completely different types of paints and uh, came out perfect. And that's it. Those are my formulas. I will, uh, in the description below, I will put the recipes and uh, the amounts that I used, the cleaner and the bigger bottle, and uh, put your thinner in a smaller one. And that's what, that's the, that, I, I, I've been using these quite a while and I do like them. And um, I, I recommend you guys give these a try. Um, I happen to have a lot of the ingredients already, so it wasn't a big cost to me. It might be a little bit of a cost to start, particularly if you've got to get your paint retarder or the glycerin, which isn't that expensive. Matter of fact, these are both five bucks each, but you're going to get a lot of use out of stretching these out into this, and uh, particularly if you're like me with a bunch of kits and uh, you're planning on a lot of building. All right, so there you go. Don't forget to look below in the description. I will put links to uh, all this stuff if I have it. Uh, available for you to find a lot of this at Walmart believe it or not but if I guess if I can find the link I'll put it up I'll put up a link for the retarder and this airbrush flow improver um, I'll put the link up for that too and the bottles I'm not sure you guys can use any bottle you want the, the, I guess that's going to be up to you you can take this and put it in here too which I'm going to do after the video I'm going to make another batch for my spray bottle and uh, that's it that's all. You gotta get yourself a few other things. You might even have a lot of it on hand. The water is only 99 cents. This was 99 cents. I mean, a lot of it is cheap. A lot of it's cheap. 
And uh, anyway, there you go, guys. That's my two formulas, my cleaner and my thinner. And uh, you guys will be glad you tried it because um, it, they both work really good. And anyway, guys, thanks, man. If uh, Please like the video. That helps a lot. you got to like the video. And please subscribe. I have a lot more to go, including this huge test of this Pro Acryl paint that they just sent me. Just sent me. I ordered almost one of every color. Hold on, guys. More to go. Hold on. Hold on. And... There you go. Uh, really and like the color. You, you guys will be uh, impressed when you see um, the results. And um, they also sent me, uh, I also ordered some spare bottles that they make. Some spare caps because I'm not crazy about these caps. I'm going to replace them. They leave kind of a mess when you twist them open. You know, but they got, they got a shaker model in them and uh, they're really, really, really good paints. These are really good acrylics and uh, simple to use too. Uh, no crazy mixtures. Anyway, that's coming up next. They, yeah, I bought this rack that you put them in, so I'm going to have to build this little mini rack. It happens to hold all these, which is perfect. I believe you display them backwards like this so you can see the colors. Um, anyway, that's it, guys. Go ahead and make uh, your thinner, make your cleaner, and um, we will see you in the next video, and I believe the next video will be these Pro Acrylics, and we'll see you soon. See you, guys.